everyone welcome back to winning chagua youtube channel so today i have a guest his name is dustin dustin brown and he's here to share his work experience and uh his work experience and a lot more <laughs> so stay tuned and enjoy a lot more okay so dustin welcome to our to my channel thank you for and having me and introduce yourself to our viewers Ah, my name is Dustin Brown. I'm a Kansas local. Lived here most of my life, a bit stint in Colorado, but I'm what you call a Midwestern American. Oh, nice. So, how long have you been living in Kansas? Kansas, since I've been back here about 13 years earlier in my life, I spent seven years in Colorado, in Denver. and uh, But most of my life here. So, probably at least 30 years. How do 30. you like it here? I do enjoy it. It's a uh, temperate, so we have every season here. Mm -hmm. So it, oh, makes, yeah. <laughs> it makes me remind me that there's always winter and always be prepared. But uh, I do enjoy the leaves changing color. I enjoy the spring that brings the warm oh, rains. It's very beautiful. <laughs> it's it's I do enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> so Dustin, uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a maintenance man. Um, I repair all the apartment buildings here. Mm -hmm. So. I do a variety of tasks in my day, from electrical, plumbing, heating and cooling, mm -hmm. um, to even just painting the corners of your house so it looks proper and matches. Okay, so can you please uh, break down when you say about maintenance, like what does it entail? Can you just go slowly? like? Yes, um, with maintenance, right now I'm currently getting apartments ready if somebody moves mm -hmm. out. So I will check every outlet, replace if they need to be done, uh, change the light fixtures to update it. I want everything to look nice. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, I will also enter people's homes to fix their appliances. Mm -hmm. Or if their heating and cooling goes out on the weekend, I'll be the one to charge it up so you stay cool during mm -hmm. these hot summers. So do you work with a company or do you do your own job? Currently, I decided to work for a nice family. There's the Odo family in Kansas City. They own multiple apartment complexes, mm -hmm. and I've learned just so much here. They take very good care of their employees. It's not government or uh, institutionalized, so it's just family-owned, uh, and the, even their children are some of my bosses and co-workers. So they hire you? Yes. And then they manage you? Yes, I just, whatever, I, since I have so many skills, I sent to the right job and just do whatever they need done. How many skills do you have? Oh, that would be a list. Um, like I mentioned earlier, uh, plumbing, heating, cooling, electrical. Yeah. Um, I can also, very good at painting, I can do floors, I can replace vinyl. I'm getting better at carpet, um, but beyond that, I'm just... So you replace uh, carpeting? And yes, from that? the top to the bottom. Essentially, I can build a home from top to bottom, oh gut it goodness. and replace it. So I can also do full construction, rebuilding your stairs, your walls, uh, up to code too. That's a whole lot of uh, things in just one, you know, one person, right? That's what the most people think of maintenance as you're just doing small tasks, mm -hmm. but you do a ton of different tasks that are all involved with the home. So if you become a master maintenance man, you can repair and build a whole home. Wow. Do you enjoy your job? Yes, I thoroughly do. It's a, it's a nice, it's got variety each day, mm -hmm. and uh, people really appreciate it when their heat and air conditioning come back on. Nice. How long have, have you been doing your uh, maintenance job? I've been doing it for over 13 years now. I started at a nursing home, got my feet wet as a maintenance man for there. Mm -hmm. And then I, as I got my experience, I moved into apartments so I could learn all the variety. Because with a nursing home or an in uh, industry like that, everything's the same, it's all large size. But with this, it's a random day every day with how old the piece is, how mm -hmm. new it is, and each one has to be repaired differently. So it keeps me on my toes mm -hmm. and uh, good at my skill. So working in a nursing home and working in apartment complex, mm -hmm. what are the differences? The big difference is with the with the nursing home, it's large machinery for everyone. Like instead of having a hot yeah, 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 yeah. water tank in each apartment, they have hot water tanks that feed the whole building. Mm -hmm. So you want you have a lot more intensive work, but in certain areas. Um, with the apartment complex, everything is individual, designed for each apartment, oh, yeah. and the ages are very different. Like with the. Uh, uh, Nursing home, you with the to nursing get home, older, it was all, everything was the same age. Everything right. was very easy to look at. You know what you're dealing with. With the apartments, everything could be different, so you have to learn a variety. Right. 
So, uh, given like uh, given an opportunity like to choose uh, between working in a nursing home and Ooh. in the apartment complex, uh, which one would you prefer? I, I actually <laughs> I prefer doing the apartment <laughs> complex because I like the variety. Um, not many people know this, but I was born or diagnosed with ADHD. Mm -hmm. I like to do many tasks instead of just one all day long. Um, and this allows me to learn so many variety that uh, mm -hmm. I'm very satisfied and productive. Mm -hmm. mm, nice. Has that been a challenge to you, like uh, working, like, you know, like having ADHD and doing all these things? Has, has it been like a challenge to you? Definitely. In um, your career? I think the key to managing ADHD is keeping your own notes. Mm -hmm. Keeping, uh, if I write my notes down of what I'm doing in the day, I will get my main task done and still yeah. get a little extra. So it's just self-management really makes a difference. Yeah, it helps you like to focus and all that. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Yes. And um, do you mind sharing like how much you make like an hour? Currently about $22 an hour, um, but I do get benefits with mm -hmm. that. So it's not reflective of my total pay. Mm -hmm. What kind of benefit do you get? Currently with my job, I get deduced rent, um, which is a market, below market rate and even cheaper than that. Mm -hmm. um, I also get snacks and free drinks at work. Oh, wow. And they even have a party usually once a month to make sure everybody stays happy. Wow, everybody lo loves snacks. <laughs> oh, yes. Maybe a little too much. <laughs> but don't take too much. I mean, lots more snacks. Yes. <laughs> not good. Too many calories. Not good for you. <laughs> Very true. Extra rum if you eat extra snack. So, and apart from snacks, do you get like discounts for your apartments and all that? Yes, as I mentioned, I get a uh, base rate minus 35%. Um, for not your every apartment complex? Yes, not everybody does that. Find, if you go into this field, find the mm -hmm. company that treats you the best. Of course. Yes. So, this company treats you uh, like mm -hmm. the best? Oh, yes, compared to many and others. And that's why you have been uh, working with them for a long time? Mm -hmm. We even compete in the maintenance competitions. I uh, forget what it's called. Crystal Merit Awards mm -hmm. here in Kansas City, which every apartment complex competes for the top award. And we've always placed every year at least four to five. And uh, so that's why I love working here. Nice. If someone came to you right now and gave you like a, a nice offer, would you take the offer or would you still remain with your, the same company? I would always consider something, but you'd have to be considerably better. And just because I make more money doesn't mean a better job. Right. With many people, like with here, when I needed time off my family, there was no questions. I only gave them a day warning and they were able to do it for me. Mm -hmm. That means a lot to an employee. So let me ask you something. So when you started working as a maintenance, like how much were you making like per hour? I started as around- As a like pay rate. Yes, I started around 19, mm -hmm. and over the three years, I've come up to about 22. So just a few dollars raised, but they've also, you know, included other benefits, and it's still just a good team. So mm -hmm. I do enjoy it, but yes, about 22 from 19. Uh, is there any special uh, skills or special, uh, like, like uh, course that you have to take? to get to do their maintenance job or do you you're not required to... but they offer a lot of benefits in that situation they paid for my uh test to take for hvac mm -hmm. i had to teach myself there's no schooling for it but if you pass the test it's a lifetime certification very similar to a lawyer you don't have to go to school to be a lawyer but you do have to pass the bar once you pass it you're one for life so there is a test that you have to take Yes, for like HVAC. Like a state, is it like a state test or what is it? It's a uh, heating and cooling certification and it has to be uh, certified by the government. Which the company I went through, I do not have it on me, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I've been certified. I forget the company, my apologies. It's, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for like someone watching you and they're like interested in doing the uh, maintenance job, and you've been in the field for like a long time mm -hmm. like what's your advice you know watching My that screen like what's what's your advice about you know someone who is 
in Africa, all, all, all over the world, and oh, yes. maybe they're like dreaming, or they've been doing this job for a long time, and they're like, I don't know, maybe if I go to America, I can, if I can do the same thing, like, yeah. what's your advice? Especially if you're coming out of Africa, I've known a lot of people going to the healthcare field, because there's a lot of open... You know that, right? <laughs> with with uh, maintenance, you can uh, work your way into a technical job. If you worked into a nursing home, uh, you could work into, like I started doing a floor tech, I worked mm -hmm. my way up. When opportunity arises, you leap on it. Even if you don't have a certification, mm -hmm. if you have the drive, you can learn anything on YouTube mm -hmm. and just prove yourself on the job. Um, so just because you take a job in one business doesn't mean you can't switch to a different job in that business. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'd say um, nursing homes are a great place to start. They give you a lot of opportunities and they're usually shorthanded. So there's a way to move up and to do different positions. Yeah, for real. Everybody starts from nursing home and it's yes. good. Yes. It's very good. You get your experience. Yeah, get your experience, but walk your way out, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and actually you've been talking about our YouTube. Do you learn more stuff from YouTube? So much. Right now, YouTube is everything. <laughs> YouTube, here's the best way I could say it mm -hmm. is you can go to school to learn something, but to learn something well, you need to find the right teacher. YouTube gives you the opportunity to find teachers across the world to teach you what you want to learn. Find the best teacher for you, and you will excel at what you choose to do. Mm, nice. Okay, so let me ask you something. So, working in this field of maintenance, have you ever faced any challenges on your field? Oh yes, um, doing maintenance. Well, I know that you interact with like people, like different types mm -hmm. of people, ranging from you know, kind of from different cultures and all that. Yes. Uh, do you face any challenges? Oh yes, especially since COVID, some people are extra careful. They want you to wear a mask, gloves, shoe booties, and they'll come and check on you. Mm -hmm. I'll do all of that, but just be careful about how close you stand to me, because I don't want to swing a hammer and accidentally hit a resident. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> But no, for the most part, it works really well. Mm -hmm. My the way to resolve many issues or keep them from happening is to communicate. Mm -hmm. I put detailed notes and let people know everything I'm doing so there's no fear of the unknown. Right. Communication is very important. Very. Have you ever experienced, like, ro go to people's house and you find, like, roaches all over the place? What do you do in oh, such cases? Most of the time, no. But yes, I've run into a couple of homes where I need to sweep out my spot where I sit. But uh, where most homes, if you ever have a problem with that stuff, just don't leave any food on the floor because they won't be there <laughs> if there's nothing to eat. What happens? Sometimes it, it happens. Right? Yeah, as a maintenance man, seal your home well and keep it clean <gasps> and you should have no bugs. <laughs> yeah, okay. Look at the camera. So I, okay. <laughs> okay, so for someone who is watching us right now, uh, maybe they're wondering about, oh, is this guy dating? Is this guy single? What is his status? So would you like to, you know, share about... I can share. I'm currently single, looking for a woman who would like to build a farm together. Oh, wow. Guys, did you hear that? So he's single and he's looking for someone for someone who can work in a farm. So if you're interested, I can say that. <laughs> you want to start again? Because that was so, pretty rough. If you're interested. Right now, um, engaged, never married, but uh, looking for a wife who loves the outdoors because my dream is to have a farm so if you're interested <laughs> that's where i'm heading i'm saving up money for my own farm okay so guys you've heard he's looking <laughs> for someone who can manage a farm so if you know that you have a potential to be a farmer send your applications <laughs> drop your comments on you know the comment on the comment section let me know you know or let him know <laughs> <laughs> and be ready to work on that farm okay so uh like and if you know that you can work in a farm here is the right person for you okay <laughs> so send your applications drop your comments below and let me know okay all right so i mean how has your i mean how has your dating how has dating been here? Yeah. Um, dating in America uh, is uh, very difficult. Everybody's so busy. Just to set aside oh, yeah. time. Very busy. It takes effort. And on top of that, in dating, everybody shows their best self, but not their whole self. Mm -hmm. So it takes time to know who somebody is. Um, so yeah, I'm unapologetically myself, and whoever I, you know, we do build Come the best across. life, we will be genuine. 
Which one? Which dating have you experienced? The online dating or the in person? I've done a little bit of both. I've tried the online dating. It's uh, it's okay, but you don't get that upfront and personal like where you you get to know the body language. Right. Um, on secondary to work on dating, I volunteered at different places like farms to meet people who've like mine. Mm -hmm. Because at least if you're doing the same thing, you already have something to talk about. And exactly. In the, it's rough. Not a lot of time spent. We're all so busy working many jobs to make sure we pay all our bills usually. Mm -hmm. And you don't get to see people yes. most of the time because you go like 16 hours. Yes. Or 24 hour shift. <laughs> And secondary, just a lot of people put on their best face, mm -hmm. which is not their real face. Right. One thing that helps dating is just be real off the bat. Mm -hmm. Let it all out, and it makes it go much smoother. Right. Yeah. It is very... It's not good. So, it people are fake, and it can be rough sometimes. But it's always worth it. Find somebody to spend a yeah, life with. Yeah, find worth someone. It. And, yeah, I don't know. Just, <laughs> yeah. Okay, by the way, have, have you been to Africa? I have not been to Africa, but love to. Uh, I think the first country I would go to would be Ethiopia, because I'd love to see the history of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And most of it is there. <laughs> and talking about the Bible, are you a Christian? I am agnostic, which means I believe in God, but I don't follow a religion. I'm very big on morals and values, mm -hmm. but right now, I uh, there's a lot of variation on how you should believe in God. I I'm I'm what you I follow nature meaning that God created nature it is the best book for me mm -hmm. so I live in harmony the best I can by feeding and making the plants grow well taking care of the animals and when I harvest as a farmer I will be as kind to the animal and respectful as possible and thank God for every blessing yeah sounds good <laughs> okay so one more thing I want to ask you is um, how do you spend your I mean how what are your hobbies? How do you spend your free time? My hobbies include outdoor sports like fishing and hunting. Mm -hmm. I like to sing karaoke on the weekends mm -hmm. and uh, just spend time playing games with friends. At least once a week I hook up with my guy friends and we'll play some cards for pennies just to have fun. Wow, that's nice. Yes. And actually uh, I can see that you have your music thing. Yes, I do. I like so to you sing. Yes, I got a full ride to college on opera, but decided not to take that any further and wanted skills. So that's how I end up as a uh, maintenance man. What kind of music do you do? Um, rock, country, hip hop, and uh, I start off a classical. So I can sing any variety of that needed. At what point did you uh, know that you had a, a like um, passion to sing? My my singing just came from natural skill. I was always able to sing. I got out of that because I saw how corrupt the business was. Mm -hmm. Many of the people are constantly on the bus their whole life. They don't get to settle down roots. To have a family and be on the road is very difficult. So for me, this is the better life. And why did you pursue your singing career? Music, be because of the, that? I still sing and I actually plan to get back into it. Hopefully be releasing an album in about a year. But uh, so it's never done. You can sing at age 40. Remember Morgan Freeman? Okay. He didn't become an actor till he was in his 50s, I think. Don't mm -hmm. quote me on that, but... That is true. Age doesn't limit you. <laughs> That's true. So continue pursuing your dream. Mm -hmm. Would you mind like singing for a, a little bit of your... Um, this is a piece from Rigoletto. Uh, Pavarotti sang it. Not as good as him, but I'll give it a shot. La donna è mobile, corpi malento, mulla la scento, ari pensiero no. Hey! Yeah. Wow, that's amazing! <laughs> Thank you! Oh my god! Yeah. And I can do ever that from even country. Um, I love the that! The race is on and here comes pride at the back strip. Heartache is going to the inside. Oh my goodness! Yeah. I know you can sing. So, oh, yes. That's lovely, I love yeah. that. Thank you. Okay, so um, can I ask you something? Yes. So, uh, can you talk about your family a little bit of it? Like, you haven't mentioned anything about your family, like... Family I've worked to be close mm -hmm. to. One thing that happens in America a lot is divorce. My parents have been divorced since I was young, but mm -hmm. I make sure to spend time with both of them. My brother and I are estranged, but that has to do more with the vaccine mm -hmm. than anything else. And are you vaccinated? I am not vaccinated. Um, during this whole process, I chose to focus on health. Mm -hmm. And so I've been heavy on vitamin D, vitamin C, keeping my health up. And I have not been sick at all during this whole situation, nor got any of my customers or residents sick. 
What is your reason behind not being vaccinated? The vaccine itself is different than the other ones. This is an mRNA vaccination. And if you're from Africa, you might remember the Tuskegee events or the uh, smallpox vaccine. You can't just trust an option because you're given it. Okay. So how do you take care of yourself? Currently, uh, you might recognize Dr. Sebi. I really focus on my nutrition, getting rid of foods that cause mucus in the body, and also just keep my vitamins up. Currently, I've also been drinking spring water, um, and it really invigorates and keeps me healthy. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. So, do you have, like, a group of friends? Like, uh, do you have, like, friends? Oh, you... yes. Yes, I have multiple friends. A uh, little bit on both sides. Some friends who are a little lethargic and some who are really active, but we all get along. It's... A good friend is somebody you can trust with whatever you tell them and they take care of it and treat you with respect. Mm -hmm. So uh, I do have a couple good friends. Wow, that's awesome. All right, Destin. By the way, let me ask you, did you go to college? I went to college, like I said earlier, I got a full ride, but I only went for about a year and a half. I tried to change up from opera to science and they said they would not give me the money. So I had to take a different road. <laughs> awesome. Actually, in this country, you don't have to go to college. No. You can just do whatever you like. Like, if you have a, a passion for, like, music or anything, so, yeah. Certain things you need a degree on. If you want to go become a doctor, get your, you can just, yeah, get whatever, your thing. But if you don't need passion. it, you don't need it. Learn this trade and get experience. Mm -hmm. Don't ever be limited by a certification. Yep. So, and when, when are you getting your farm again? <laughs> I'm saving up for it and looking for land right now. So, <laughs> hopefully soon. <laughs> okay. Anything else you want to share? No, thank you for your time and thank you for including me in your channel. Great channel. I've watched it many times and uh, if you're from Africa, come on over here. We, we definitely need the best immigrants and everybody here is an immigrant. We all are. So let's make the best yeah, one together. Yeah, and we work very hard. <laughs> yes, we all do. <laughs> we do, yeah, we do. <laughs> for anyone watching this, I mean this channel and they're interested in uh, in coming over here mm -hmm. and doing their maintenance job, you know, what is your advice? Um, so currently, or just anything else, yeah, you know. Yeah. No, currently, if you ever want to get those kids who are in the village and they're watching this, you know, those Africa, you know, if you know anybody else who have a dream to come to America. If you'd like to get in, there's a lot of people going into healthcare because it's a big opening right now. Remember, if you come into a job, you can always move into another position. Don't ever limit yourself just because you have one degree or you're labeled one way. You can change. And that's what I did. I started off as a floor tech. I've worked in warehouses. But when you find something you love, stick to it and follow it to, the, to its farthest extent. That's how you stay happy and productive. Awesome. And successful. Great advice. I <laughs> Thank like you. that. Thank you so much. All right, can you advise my people to subscribe to my channel? Oh, please do. I'm already subscribed. If you aren't subscribed, you're missing out. So. Yeah, you are getting right. <laughs> you better get then subscribe, okay? <laughs> thank you for having me. All right, me. guys. Thank you so much for, you know, sharing your views. Appreciate it. And your story. And I appreciate. And thank you so much. Right. So, guys. Have a great day. Thank you. And, you know. Subscribe. 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 Bye. Bye.